Hi, Sam Larson here with Northland Tackle. Today I'm going to show you how you can turn a normal jig into a hair jig. Alright guys, so to do this you're going to need a couple things. You'll need some thread, uh, basically anything works. Uh, I've even used braided line before. A scissors, um, some type of glue. I like to use an epoxy, like a five minute epoxy. Um, super glue works as well. Uh, you can get the fancier fly tying head cement. Um, but the epoxy holds up really nice uh, for a long time. Uh, and then finally, uh, some kind of material to tie with. Uh, and the great thing is, uh, today is the day after Halloween, um, which gives us a lot of opportunities for materials to tie with. Um, as you can see here, I have a, a bow. I just got this at a craft store, uh, and it's full of full of marabou hair, um, as well as some tinsel uh, with some of the Christmas items that are coming out. So this is just tinsel for a Christmas tree, uh, and it's basically the exact same thing uh, as flashaboo that you'd fi find at a fly tying shop. So to get started, um, we're going to start off with this thumper jig here. And what you do is you just start your thread out, you lay it across the base of the jig and then just make some wraps over itself back up to the front. When you got a good base that wrapped over your other end you can just pinch it off. Take your scissors, snip the tag end. Okay, then you wrap your thread back up to the front of the jig here. All right, now for this one I'm going to use some tinsel. So it's a not a huge jig, so we'll cut off, I don't know, maybe three inches worth. Just a nice, nice clump. You can always trim back later or remove, or add for that matter. Just snip this off. Gather it up. Now, what I like to do, and the reason I cut it this long, um, it's because I like to fold it back on itself. It gives the, the jig a little more pop, especially if you're using bucktail, um, and it gives it a little cleaner finish up at the front of the jig. So, you just kind of place the hair around the jig and make like two or three um, loose wraps. And then, Kind of pinch it with your thumbs and pull down tight. And what's that, what that's going to do um, is slide some of that hair all the way around the jig. Okay, so then you'll secure it down with a few more wraps. Okay, and then pinch that off. Now you'll take it and bend all the hair going forward back on itself. Go all the way to the front, and then you're just going to wrap that really tight, clean it up so you have a nice, um, clean transition from the jig to the, the thread, and then to your tinsel. Now to finish it, um, you'll do what's called a whip style finish. And what you do is you spread your fingers out like this, okay? You fold the line over itself, and then you twist it back on top, pinch it, and pull that tight. Um, so basically ties a half inch over itself. You're going to want to do like two or three of these just to keep it tight until you get the glue on. Go ahead here and trim my tag end. Okay, and my, my hair is a little long on the back, um, so I'm going to trim it down. You can taper it, cut it off clean. Um, then the final step here is to take your epoxy, okay, and then just dab it on all the way around the jig. Okay, and now with the epoxy, it's going to drip a little bit. Uh, so the best thing to do is to set it down um, and then flip it over a minute. And if it's that five minute stuff, um, you shouldn't get too big of drips. Uh, and then you'll have your jig done. So there you have it. You can add plastics to these, live bait, or just fish them the way they are. Uh, it's a, a great way to get a unique look um, to your jig and something that fish haven't seen before. 
All right, guys, as always, if you liked what you saw, make sure to go to our YouTube channel and subscribe. Uh, we post week weekly videos about all things fishing. I hope uh, you get a chance to try these custom hair jigs out, and they put a lot of fish in the boat for you this fall.